What does a coffee cup fill line have to do with your private parts? More than you realize. When you order hot coffee through the drive-thru, what you don't expect is for the cup to be so full that the coffee knocks the lid off and douses your testicles in a caffeinated liquid inferno of pain. You also don't expect the nearly 200 degree liquid to cascade down your breasts because the cup is not full enough to create a suction seal with the lid. Yet it's just such scenarios as these that are made possible when your drive through server doesn't use the cup's fill line. Why don't you ever see the fill line on coffee cups anymore? Corporate greed! And probably environmentalist hipsters complaining about ink in the coffee. Yet while you don't see fill lines on the inside of most cups these days, it still does exist in some sort of ethereal and imaginary netherworld that drive through employees need to be spiritually in tune with, or at the very least trained about, so that your private parts don't end up seared into an ethereal and imaginary netherworld. What most people don't know about fill lines and subsequently private parts is that they are actually designed with mathematical precision and a respect for Newtonian physics to keep your nuts, boobs, and other private parts, no matter their type, style, or distinction, from being seared into oblivion. The fill line at its tolerance level is between one-eighth to one-quarter inch shy of the brim. This will create a vacuum effect seal between the liquid and the lid that helps keep it in place. The cup should not be too full, nor too empty. Both of these possibilities could cause you to lose your nuts. So, the next time you swing through at your favorite bikini barista, you'll have a new reason to think about private parts.